Protesters here say that it's time for big change here in Old Saybrook after they say that one family suffered far too much when dealing with police. This pain is real. This pain hits differently. Suddenly, it's like we've been slapped in the face. Protesters say there is pain here in Old Saybrook. This demonstration coming after a post went viral on Facebook. From town resident Rebecca Roy, who detailed the events earlier this week, claiming her family and her brother CJ were harassed by police who thought CJ may have been a suspect in a case for a missing street sign. The Post claims police mishandled and vilified CJ, who the family says has Down syndrome and was scarred by the aggressive questioning tactics from police. When Fox 61 reached out to the old Saybrook Police Department for comment but have not heard back at this time. But in a follow-up post from the family, they say police apologized, but protesters say the pain is still real. Please allow the family to heal. They are uh, sheltering after this incident. With the family in mind, protesters marched. Go, hey, hey, go home. Michael Spears got to go. From the town green all the way to the old Saybrook police station. And as the chanting continues, people here say that they want only one thing, and that's a public apology to the family that they say they hurt. Honesty, integrity. But protesters demand not only a public apology to the family, but the residents of the town and surrounding areas as well. Demonstrators say either way it goes, it's time for a change. I'd like to see a police department that practices community policing. Or better yet, I'd like to see a peace force, not a police force. A protesters say that you can expect to hear much more from them in the near future, especially at the next Old Saybrook Police Commission meeting. We're in Old Saybrook, Brian Ditlake, Fox 61 News. Thank you. Following the death of George Floyd, a number